Okay guys, so today I'm gonna show you what to fix if your AC is blowing hot air. So the problem that I'm having is that, let me show you. When I come in here and I turn on my car, it blows hot air. Not warm air, but hot. And as you can see, it's a cold. If I switch it to hot, it's still the same hot air. And then when I go to cold, it still stays with hot air. Not warm air, but hot, like heat or hot. So it's usually the same issue as a vent inside on the bottom of the car. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But you have to make sure first that your AC compressor is turning on. It just turns every time you turn on the AC. You can hear it click every time you have your AC on. You hear it click and turn. So if that's turning on and your pipes in the engine are cold, your AC uh, pipes are cold, but your air is hot, then this is your problem. This is how you're gonna fix it. So to fix your problem, you gotta come here to the driver's side, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this panel. Our issues back there, so it's take off this panel, take this off, uh, just remove this. This you actually just pull up, comes out. It's really no clips or nothing. So you remove that, and we're gonna remove this cover, which is two clips here. Uh, you just kind of pull, yeah, just like that. And once you pull, just pull on this side, and then over there, just pull out. So you see this goes in here. So don't pull that out or you're gonna break it. Just pull this side out and then pull it towards you and it'll come out. Once you get those two out, there's gonna be a Phillips uh, right there, in there, as you can see. And then one more here. Take those off, um, and then uh, we'll just take this off. It's held by clips, two screws, and now we're gonna pull this whole system off. Um, it's held by clips. It has like uh, one, two, three clips on this side, and then three clips on that side. So you gotta come and just kind of like, yeah. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah, just pull it like that, and let me show you guys the clips. It has this one, this one, this one, two, three two three more so that's it uh now if you want you can remove this those two footers right there and this comes out and you can take off this plastic i'm not gonna do it because i don't need to um what i'm what we're gonna work on is it's right over there it's actually that wire this wire right there and this plastic white plastic right there let me see if i get a better angle right here yeah so it's this right here so we're gonna work on that, and let me show you that in just a minute. But uh, if you want, you can remove this or not. Okay, here we go. So uh, we took this already coming in here. It's just such a bad angle, but. So this is the problem. When you put the heater on, let me see if we can get a good view from here. Oh, this is great. Okay. This white thing right here, this plastic, see this wire? This wire goes in here I just took it off it goes in here and this is the, the this controls the panel for hot and cold so whenever let me show you whenever you put heater on whenever you turn the knob to heat because you need to learn how the system works so you can know what to fix and how to fix it so whenever you turn this heater on see how the wire pulls in so when it pulls in just like that it's what it's going to do is it's going to bring this hold on bring this forward just like this and you can hear the panel kind of close let me see if i can yeah okay so it's gonna bring it here and it's gonna oh, okay so it's gonna close like that close the panel and then right now it's the wire's not there because i took it off you can take it off with some pliers and a flathead i had to use both hands so i couldn't show you it's it's not it's not in a bad bad spot but you can't really film and do that at the same time but when I when you go to cold see how it the wire just pushes forward it's blocking it right now but the wire just goes forward the wire goes forward when when it goes to cold see and when it when it does that it's supposed to push this to open the panel you can hear the panel close and open well, the problem is that when you go to hot, it closes the panel, but when you go to cold, 
is not strong enough to push this to close the panel. Now, why does that happen? I guess just over time, the grease loosens up and it doesn't work anymore. What you have to do is just spray, the, spray this whole system with WD-40. Spray this with WD-40. Um, there's a spring here, spray it with WD-40. Spray everything with WD-40 and that will, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I was gonna hopefully fix my problem. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm guessing you have to replace probably this system. But spraying it with WD-40 should work. Okay guys, after extensive um, WD-40 and playing with it back and forward, I put the wire back, WD-40, and I work with this for a while, and nothing is, I mean, it's still doing the same problem. I can't I can fix it. Um, if you can see, if I go to heat, it's gonna pull it and close it. But when I go back to cold, it's not not working. Still doing the same thing. So where I live, I live in Houston, and it's pretty hot here. So uh, it doesn't really get cold. When it gets cold, it's just for you know, a few days of the year or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in cold. I'm going to open the panel, which uh, this will be cold. And I'm going to remove the wire so that even if somebody puts heat, it won't go too hot. It will just stay in cold. Um, so that was my fix. I'm sorry I couldn't really fix it, fix it, but at least you know what the problem is. And at least this way you can control your, your, you know, your climate. And if you want it cold and, and always cold, then I guess you can leave it like that. Just what I'm doing. If you guys find a permanent solution, like the, I guess, professional solution, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll update the video. But this is... I didn't want to spend any more money or any money. I mean, I didn't spend any money, but I don't want to spend any money or, or, or anything else. And I guess I have to open the whole panel and, and take out the whole system, which just looks like a pain. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to leave it cold because I don't, I don't use the heater anyways. So I'm going to remove the wire where it is right now. It's in the, it's in the cold because this is hot. That's cold. And I'm going to take out the wire and just leave it like that and put everything back together. I hope this video helped you. At least now you know the problem that your vehicle is having. Like I mentioned before, this works on any vehicle model or trim. Um, they all have the same system on the, on the on the same side. I guess unless newer newer cars, they may be different. But this is anything from 2010 and under for sure. 2012 and under. Uh, let me know if I guess somehow this helped you. If it did, please just like. You can subscribe. You can um leave a comment and uh hopefully uh hopefully this helped you thank you very much have a great day